<laughs> hey, howdy, hey, friends and neighbors. Scott here with my friend and neighbor, Chris, who has found a uh, paper wasps. Yeah, paper wasps, some wasp nests. And so we're going to look at uh, the edibility of these things, see if we can eat some. Yummo. <laughs> <laughs> I've come prepared. <laughs> the fun thing about wasps, as, as far as edibility goes, is that they're all edible. Uh, wasps, bees, all, all of those, their, um, their, their food and their lifestyle means that they're extremely low risk for harboring any parasites for you. Let's see what else also. So if you're worried about the, the poison, right? Well, if you're stung by the poison, yeah, I mean, that, that's painful. And if you uh, have an allergy, that, that's a big problem. But when you, when you eat it, you digest it and uh, it breaks it down and neutralizes it so you don't have to worry about allergic reactions. And that's with the whole wasp. Right, uh, yeah, and we're, we're just going to eat the larvae. You can eat the adult ones, but they're, they're um, hard exoskeletons. Crunchy. crunchy. <laughs> we're going to have these nice little soft ones. Okay, so let's see if I can... Oh, okay, let me try that again. <laughs> There we go. Okay, see, that's one of the larvae, and uh, they don't have any sting at all. And mentally, it's, I mean, it grosses you out, you're not used to, but they really don't have much of a taste at all. Hi, <laughs> it popped. That was the psychological thing. There's really not, my, there's not much of a taste, I swear. I'm making this face purely from, my brain says, spit that out. That is not food. Even though it is, it's food. Okay, Chris is going to be brave. I think you took all the best ones. <laughs> I'm selfish that way. Come here, you little bugger. Literally. Oh, I got a grip on them now. Yeah, they're edible at all the different stages of development. There we go. There he is. Beautiful. That's Bear Grylls, this thing. There's hardly any taste at all, really. Yeah. Prime up with some butter. It, it's gone. <laughs> the thing with a lot of times. Actually, it's yep. slightly sweet. Slightly, yeah. That one was slightly sweet. I, I could, I could see that. They'll, they'll take on the flavor. A lot of bugs will take on the flavor of whatever you cook them with. So when you eat them raw, there's not much there. Yeah. But uh, cook uh, them in some, some mine, butter. Mine didn't pop. But oh, you should have another one. <laughs> That's part of the experience. Yes. Oh, we got a wiggler here. <laughs> the live one. Oh, that one popped. That popped. Did that just psych you out? <laughs> Not really. It's kind of like a uh, also any sort of candy that a filled candy. Oh yeah, it's like just, um, what are those burst? What are, what am I thinking of? You know, it's like a gummy candy, but there's juice inside. Yeah, yeah. There's all sorts of brands of them. There's Gushers. It's kind of a yeah, little, Gushers. A Gusher. That's not. It well, they doesn't don't compare because like it. it's way too hard. But, right, uh, and they just kind of ooze just, out. This is pop. It's like a filled gummy. Slightly sweet, but no real flavor otherwise. Okay, well, we're gonna wrap it up there. This is just a little sampling. Um, you can eat them raw, of course. You can cook them in things. They have lots of protein. <laughs> As long as, if you have an allergy to shellfish, uh, you might want to be careful with insects because they do have chitin, it's that same protein in the, sh in the shellfish that you can have an allergy to, so use some caution there. Otherwise, have some fun, well, I mean, don't get stung by a wasp either, yeah. Otherwise, have some fun, go out and, you know, push your limits a little bit, try some of these edible bugs, edible plants, keep your eyes out for plants, and zombies, and wasps. Mosquitoes. <laughs> Mosquitoes. Happy foraging. <laughs>